Hi, I'm Michael Lynn White, and thanks for joining us this morning at Local Memphis Live. Hey, Blue Raiders, it's homecoming 2016, and it's game day on and off the field with the theme being Raideropoly. Welcome Karen Todd to show us some of her models today to give you a little peek of what's to come. One year ago, this iconic bridge behind me was shut down as hundreds of protesters took it over and gained national attention. The last time St. Jude was voted number one by U.S. News and World Report was 2010. Anytime you have to, you know, have something done to your roof and water's coming in, it's, it's pretty rough. Bobby White knows that feeling all too well. He's still repairing damage from last month's storms. He's hoping roofers finish the job. Unfortunately, they've had to take breaks. As a matter of fact, they left this morning, now they came back after it stopped raining. While the weather may not be cooperating, roofers work around the clock to make sure White's home is ready for round two. I wasn't really nervous then until he said it may come this way. So that's when I got nervous. The last thing he wants is for rainwater from Cindy to get inside. He says he's lucky to have crews on his roof. His neighbors aren't so lucky. They're using tarps to shield their storm damaged homes. My heart goes out to those who's having problems, uh, especially uh, the kind of problems we have when a tornado or, or any type of windstorm come through. And so we need to get ready for Miss Cindy. The good news tonight is that homeowner's roof is finished. And officials say if you can, have an emergency kit ready should Cindy hit. Reporting in Midtown, I'm Michael Lynn White. Hey guys, super excited to bring y'all all the hashtag HOCO excitement from beauty queens to cute guys and girls tailgating, even a mascot who totes ignored me, but that's cool. If you missed out on all the fun, that's okay. Stay with me as we go inside the board game themed MTSU homecoming. Say hey to the new morning show, The Rap. Good morning. Yes, good morning, guys. loud, be proud, and be blue. Woo! Just got totally shamed by the Blue Raider. Hey Blue Raiders, it's homecoming 2016 and it's game day on and off the field with the theme being Raideropoly. What is the most valuable pieces of property on the Monopoly game? Boardwalk, Park Place. Yes, he got it! Woohoo! Ding ding! The houses. <laughs> no! Boardwalk and Parks Place. Park oh, Place. Oh, he nailed it! Park Place and oh, Boardwalk. What? Does that ring a bell? The two different sets of cards on the Monopoly game board. What do you think? I have no idea. <laughs> chance and um, gel. Gel. Treasure chest and. Dude, oh my god. It's the question mark one. Chance. Chance and community chest. Chance and community chest. Dude is on it. What are you guys doing? What are y'all doing with your families? You're not playing Monopoly. Okay, I've it's seen that on the McDonald's bags, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yes, hey. How many houses do you have to have on your property before you can buy a hotel? Four! Four is correct. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> four. Good guess. Good guess. Yes, four. And then you have to have four to get anyway. Thank you for coming. There was all of the usual pomp and circumstance of any high school game, but this Friday night, the air was filled with something different. Well, tonight's a special night because we are honoring uh, Captain Jeff Coos, uh, the tragedy that happened right here in our backyard in Smyrna, Tennessee. Not just the community, but other branches of military came together once again to honor Captain Coos and his family. Of the night's special features was a presentation by the Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon, and a heartwarming solo rendition of Taps. But what you may not know is the connection to the tragedy goes even deeper. Todd Harris, a coach from Stewart's Creek High, flew with the Blue Angels on a ride along the day before the crash. The super high of, of June 1st was followed by the tragedy of June 2nd. And so it tempered certainly my excitement, but we had a fantastic uh, opportunity as a community to come together and honor Captain Coos. And I really believe tonight is just another step in that process. Not only that, but the principal of Stewart's Creek was the chaplain on call and was able to respond to the flight line that very night to minister to family and friends about the unspeakable tragedy. 
It was a night where everyone united for a common cause. No matter the football rivalry or branch of military, the goal was to honor a hero and his family and all of the men and women who put their lives on the line for us every day. We know there are others that put service before self, and we're remembering that tonight also. We're not going to forget. I love that about this community. I love that about our country.